Do you ever wonder how long it takes to seal a single can? Do you then also wonder how long it would take to do 24 of them? Well, today we're gonna figure out both. Welcome back to another class of October Labs. Did you do your homework? I'm Coleman, and today we're going to show you how fast can seaming really is. Let's see how long it takes to seam one case, or 24 cans. Here to help with that is fellow can head, Thomas. What's up, everybody? For the sake of today's test, all cans are pre-filled and ready to seal. Ready with the clock, and start. While he does that, let's look closer to see what it takes to seam a single can. First, you take your pre-filled can, set it on your lower chuck, lock it into place, turn the machine on, bring in operation one, bring it back out, bring in operation two, bring it back out, turn off the machine, lower the splash guard, and you're done. For all you newbies watching, remember this, never do both operations at the same time, and never do op one after you've done op two. All right, let's see how fast we can do just one. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi. Boom, that's it. Also, congratulations to the state of Mississippi for having a monopoly on counting out loud. As you can see, seeming a single can to go is quick and easy. We reached out to a few of our production-oriented clients to see what kind of numbers they were doing in real life. Most came in around five to 10,000 cans a month, a few around 20,000. But the winner by far was State Street Brewing in Bristol, who did 108,000 cans in one month. That's a lot of cans. Let's see how far Thomas is. For the sake of the video, how about we fast forward a little bit? Just a few cans left. Look at him go. So calm, so graceful, truly a professional. And he's done. A full case done in 225, no sweat. Thank you, Thomas. No problem. Time to do everybody's favorite thing, math. Thomas was able to do a case of 24 cans in 2.25. We'll round up to two minutes 30 to account for potty breaks. At about 9.6 cans per minute, he could do 576 cans in an hour, or 4,608 cans in a non-stop eight-hour shift. It's no wonder so many places are doing thousands of cans a month. Well, that's all the time we have. Be sure to check out our other videos as we answer other questions and dive into different aspects of the canning process. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, can responsibly. Bye-bye. <laughs>